This is the commentary for a previously posted video. In this video, we watched a set of promos from the Princess Power Hour featuring The Little Mermaid on Toon Disney from November of 2004. Included were Princess Power Hour bumpers, some scenes from The Little Mermaid, the animated series, ads for Wiggly Water Babies, My Little Pony, and a promo for Mulan. Also included were end credits for The Little Mermaid with a Princess Power Hour voiceover. Toon Disney began in 1998 as a spin-off of the Disney Channel. During the early days, they were heavy with older animated content. To add new excitement to those older shows, Toon Disney often created themed programming blocks like what we saw in this video. The Princess Power Hour ran episodes of the animated series The Little Mermaid, followed by Aladdin back-to-back. -back. The programming block ran on Toon Disney from 2000 to 2007 under the names The Princess Power Hour and The Princess Party Palace. The program block was decidedly targeting a young female demographic, as we could see by the graphics, bumpers, and the ads that ran during the block. The bumpers for the Princess Power Hour played up female empowerment, hence the use of the word power in the program block's title. The bumpers both showed Ariel and Jasmine taking command in action scenes. In the video, we saw some of the ads that ran during this program block. First, we saw an ad for Wiggly Water Babies. These were flexible baby dolls that kids could fill with warm water, which created the effect of having a real baby. The dolls are still sold today by Just Play Products under the name Water Babies. After that, we saw a promo for the Toon Disney premiere of Mulan. The premiere was taking place during the channel's upcoming month-long promotion, The Month of Merriment. The Month of Merriment took the same approach as Toon Disney's themed programming blocks, but instead applied it to a month-long promotion of shows centered around a common theme theme, in this case, the Christmas holiday. After more bumpers and more scenes from the show, we saw an ad for My Little Pony. My Little Pony is a toy line that has been around since 1981. It started under the name My Pretty Pony in 1981 and was changed to My Little Pony in 1982. The original toy line ran from 1982 to 1992. My Little Pony has gone through five brand refreshes and generations of toys over the years. This ad is from the third generation of My Little Pony toys that were launched in 2003. The toy line has been very successful for Hasbro during its run. The fourth generation of toys brought in over $1 billion in retail sales in 2014 and 2015. In 2021, Hasbro launched a fifth generation of My Little Pony toys. After that, we saw more bumpers, the closing scenes of the episode, followed by the end credits. During the end credits, we got to hear one of the Princess Power Hour end credit voiceovers. In this one, the announcer goes through a princess checklist of things to do including things like practice good manners, meet the subjects, do charity work, and fight evil, injustice, and cruelty. But when it came to the last item on the list, which was cleaning the castle, the announcer says that maybe that can wait until tomorrow. End credit voiceovers like this were designed to keep kids' attention during the end credits so they didn't change the channel. Most offered a little bit of humor, like we heard with this one in the video. The Princess Power Hour was very successful for Toon Disney. Not only was it popular, running for over seven years, but it also fed into Disney's princess merchandising, which was very big at the time. I like it because anytime you can theme a program block, it makes it easier for viewers like me to understand and know what to expect. With this one, I would expect to see stories about princesses, and that's exactly what it delivered. Toon Disney had other program blocks like this one. Some were more successful than others. Some of the others include Chillin' with the Villains, The Great Toon Weekend, which showed movies and back-to-back -back episodes of Aladdin, Timon and Pumbaa, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Emperor's New School, and Lilo and Stitch, and Hanging with the Heroes that showed two hours of Aladdin, Gargoyles, and Hercules. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro videos. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. This was the commentary for a previous video. For the full video, click the link on the left. For another video, click on the right. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by stockagogo.com. Stock photos.